Excuse me, is this chair taken? Excuse me? Is this taken? Yes, it is. Oh, sorry. Sure thing. Excuse me, is this chair taken? Excuse me? Is this taken? No, but I'm expecting somebody in a minute. Oh, thanks anyway. Sure thing. Excuse me, is this chair taken? No, but I'm expecting somebody very shortly. Would you mind if I sit here till he or she or it comes? They do seem to be pretty late. You never know who you might be turning down. Sorry. Nice try, though. Sure thing. Is this seat taken? No, it's not. Would you mind if I sit here? Yes, I would. Oh. Is this chair taken? No, it's not. Would you mind if I sit here? No, go ahead. Thanks. Every place else seems to be taken. Mm-hmm. Great place. Mm-hmm. What's the book? I just wanted to read in quiet, if you don't mind. No. Sure thing. Every place else seems to be taken. Mm-hmm. Great place for reading. Yes, I like it. What's the book? The Sound and the Fury. Oh, Hemingway. What's the book? The Sound and the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. Have you read it? Not actually. I've sure read about it, though. It's supposed to be great. It is great. I hear it's great. Waiter! What's the book? The Sound and the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. Have you read it? I'm a Mets fan myself. Have you read it? Yeah, I read it in college. Where was college? I went to Oral Roberts University. Where was college? I was lying. I never really went to college. I just liked to party. Where was college? Harvard. Do you like Faulkner? I love Faulkner. I spent a whole winter reading him once. I've just started. I was so excited after ten pages that I went out and bought everything else he wrote. One of the greatest reading experiences of my life. I mean, all that incredible psychological understanding. Page after page of gorgeous prose. His profound grasp of the mystery of time and human existence. The smells of the earth. What do you think? I think it's pretty boring. What's the book? The Sound and the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. Do you like Faulkner? I love Faulkner. He's incredible. I spent a whole winter reading him once. I was so excited after ten pages that I went out and bought everything else he wrote. All that incredible psychological understanding. And the prose is so gorgeous. And the way he's grasped the mystery of time. And human existence. I can't believe I've waited this long to read him. You never know. You might not have liked him before. That's true. You might not have been ready for him. You have to hit these things at the right moment or it's no good. That's happened to me. It's all in the timing. My name's Bill, by the way. I'm Betty. Hi. Hi. Yes, I thought reading Faulkner was a great experience. Yes. The sound and the fury. Well, onwards and upwards. Waiter. Excuse me. Se reserva esta silla? Excuse me? Se reserva esta silla? Esta sí. Oh, a pesa d'umbrado. Seguro. You have to hit these things at the right moment or it's no good. That's happened to me. It's all in the timing. My name's Bill, by the way. I'm Betty. Hi. Hi. Do you come in here a lot? Actually, I'm just in town for two days from Pakistan. Oh, Pakistan. My name's Bill, by the way. I'm Betty. Hi. Hi. Do you come in here a lot? Every once in a while. Do you? Not so much anymore. Not as much as I used to, before my nervous breakdown. Do you come in here a lot? Why are you asking? Just interested. Are you really interested, or do you just want to pick me up? No, I'm really interested. Why would you be interested in whether I come in here a lot? I'm just getting acquainted. Maybe you're only interested for the sake of making small talk long enough to ask me back to your place to listen to some music. Or because you've just rented this great tape for your VCR. Or because you've got some terrific unknown Django Reinhardt record. Only all you really want to do is fuck, which you won't do very well. 
After which, you'll go into the bathroom and pee very loudly, then pad into the kitchen and get yourself a beer from the refrigerator, without asking me whether I'd like anything, and then you'll proceed to lie back down beside me and confess that you've got a girlfriend named Stephanie who's away at medical school in Belgium for a year, and that you've been involved with her off and on in what you'll call a very intricate relationship for the past seven years, none of which interests me, mister. Okay. Do you come in here a lot? Every other day, I think. I come in here quite a lot, and I don't remember seeing you. I guess we must be on different schedules. Missed connections. Yes, different time zones. Amazing how you can live right next door to somebody in this town and never even know it. I know. City life. It's crazy. We probably pass each other in the street every day. Right in front of this place, probably. Yep. Well, the waiters here sure seem to be in some different time zone. I can't seem to locate one anywhere. Waiter! So what are you... I beg pardon? Nothing. Sorry. Oh.